All right, uh, let's write an algorithm for finding the closest point on a line segment to another random point in two-dimensional space. So I've kind of written out what we're going to be doing here. We have a line segment, and then we have just a point out in space, and we want to find the closest point on this segment to that point. This algorithm has some applications, like if you want to find the distance between a line segment and a circle, if you know the closest point on the line segment, you can then determine if the circle is intersecting the line segment. Or if you want to find the distance between two line segments, you can compare the endpoints of each line segment to the actual line segment and determine how close they are that way. So in order to find the distance, or to find the closest point on this segment AB to point P, we're going to make two vectors that are relative to point A. And so I'm going to have a vector AB that points from A to B, then I'll have another vector pointing from A to P. And so we have two vectors that are relative to point A. Steps number one and two here indicate how we're doing that. So the first one is vector AB. We simply take B and subtract A, and then we have a vector pointing from A to B. And then to get the vector A to P, we take P and subtract A. The next step is to now project this vector AP onto AB. And we do that using the dot product, and I just call that projection here. We take the dot product of AP and AB, and that's going to project this vector over here onto this vector AB. And it's going to give us a scalar floating point value that indicates how far along A I need to travel to reach this projected point. What I really want is that projection, but in the range of 0 to 1, or relative to the range of 0 to 1. So if A is our 0 point, then B would be our 1 point. Meaning that if, if we are at 0, if this projection is at 0, we are at point A. If this projection ends up being at 1, that means we're at point B. And then if the projection is greater than 1, we are beyond B over here on this side. And if the projection is less than 0, we are beyond A on this direction. Okay? And so then we can use that information to determine which point is closest to this point in two-dimensional space. We have the projection here. We're going to go ahead and normalize that projection to the range of 0 to 1. In order to do that, we need to actually get the length squared of this AB vector here. And we just simply do that here in step 4. We get the length squared or the magnitude squared of AB. Now, in order to normalize this projection, we simply take the projection and divide it by the length squared of AB, and that'll give us a, a normalized value for D, or it'll tell us how far along we need to go in this direction along AB to find the closest point to this point P in two-dimensional space. So let's go ahead and write that up in code, and let's see what that looks like. Uh, here I've written up a program using my flat library, and if we go ahead and run this, we can take a look at what I have. This is a grid, a two-dimensional grid, and we have a line segment defined. And the orange dot is following the mouse cursor. So we have a random dot in two-dimensional space. And we want to find the point on this line segment that is closest to this orange dot that is following the mouse cursor. Now, if you want to see any other videos about how I created this graphics library um, that I'm using to draw this, it's all on my channel in previous videos. Uh, we talk about uh, sprite drawing, line drawing, uh, camera views, and distances. In fact, we can zoom the scene in and out, and uh, that's all due to the camera system that's been created for this two-dimensional scene. So if, you, if you're interested in how any of this was created, it's all in my previous videos on my channel. All right, so let's go ahead and go back to the code, and let's go ahead and write the algorithm. So right now, I have a function. It draws a line segment between A and B, and then I have an orange point here, uh, which is point P, and it's following the mouse position. Uh, right here, what I want to do is actually create a function that will allow us to find the closest point on this line segment to our point in space. So I have a utility class here. Let's create a function to do that. It's going to be a static function that's going to return a floating point value. And this floating point return is going to be the distance between the segment and the point. And so I'm going to call this point segment distance. Let's pass in the point. And then we'll pass in the two endpoints of the line segment. And then I also want to pass out a vector that indicates the closest point. I'm going to call that CP, but that's going to be the closest point on the line segment to the point in space. Let's go back to our drawing here. The first two things we want to do is get 
the AB vector and AP vector. All right, next we want to get the actual projection of AP onto AB, and then let's get the length squared of AB or the magnitude squared of the vector AB. All right, the vector two actually has a dot product we can use. So I'm going to project AP onto AB. Let's get the magnitude squared or the length squared of AB. And then finally, I want to get the normalized projection. I'm going to call that value D, and that's going to be equal to the projection divided by the length squared of AB. All right, so now we have all the information necessary. We just need to find out where this is, where D is relative to the points on the line segment. If value D is less than or equal to zero, that means A is the closest point on the segment, and so we'll use A. If the projected point D is greater than or equal to one, that means B is the closest point, and we'll use that. Let's just do some if statements here really quick. If D is less than or equal to zero, that means A is our closest point. Otherwise, if D is greater than or equal to one, that means the closest point is B. Then finally, the last condition is we are somewhere in between. The actual closest point is somewhere in the middle. So now in order to find where this point is on the line segment, we're going to start at A, and then we're going to progress along the vector AB until we get to D. So the closest point is going to be equal to A. We're going to start at A, and then we're going to move along AB times whatever D ended up being. All right, so that's everything we need to do to find the closest point. The last thing I wanted to do is return the actual distance to the point. And this is kind of an optional step. Maybe you don't want to return the distance. Maybe it's not necessary information. Or you could even return the distance squared if you want to eliminate the square root. But I'm going to return the, the actual distance. So I'm going to use a distance formula. And we want the distance between point P and the closest point on the line segment. And there we have the completed formula. So let's go back to the function we had earlier. And here I'm actually going to find that distance. Let's call the function. We're going to pass in point P. And then the actual line segment is A and B. And we're going to pass out the closest point. So now we have the distance and the closest point. Let's go ahead and draw that on the screen. Uh, first of all, for the distance, I'm going to put that in this string down here. So now we have the distance being displayed. Uh, the other thing is I want to actually draw the point on the segment. And so I'm going to use the shapes batcher. We're going to draw a, a filled box. And it's going to be at the closest point. So we're going to put the closest point. And I'm just going to give it a width of 3 and a height of 3. And for the color, let's just give it a light blue. So the light blue box on the line segment is going to be the closest point. And let's just run that and see how it looks. All right, uh, there we are. And it's pretty close to white, but you can see it there. Let me go ahead and change the color. Maybe we'll make it a red. Okay, there we are. So the red point on the line segment is the closest point to our point in two-dimensional space, our random point. And you can see once I come down here, the closest point is the endpoint A. And then as I go along the middle, the closest point is somewhere in the middle. And then as I get to the edge, the closest point is now at point B on the other end. So that is how you find the closest point between a line segment and a random point in two-dimensional space.